What's up guys, this is GTFan712 back with another installment of news, in which I recap the sneaker news that mattered to me this week and look forward to this weekend's releases. Kicking off this week, several retailers received new arrivals from Y3's fall-winter 2016 season, including the new Casa High Lux, which replaces the nylon and elastic of the standard Casa with leather and suede, and the Y3 Pure Boost ZG, offering a nylon take on one of Y3's most popular silhouettes from last season. Links to find all of Y3's new arrivals can be found in the description below, with some listed under retail. Common Projects has also started rolling out their fall-winter 2016 footwear with new colorways of the Achilles Low and Mid, new suede Achilles Lows, new Chelsea boots in leather and suede, and new colorways of the Combat Boot. You can shop the full collection now at the link in the description, all available under US retail price. Nike released new colorways of the Air Max Zero this week with monochromatic triple white and triple black colorways for men, and new white and maroon colorways for women. Plenty of sizes are still available with links to purchase in the description. That was just the beginning of a massive week of releases for Nike with the entire Unlimited collection releasing Thursday, August 4th, the day before the opening ceremony of the 2016 Summer Olympics. Volt and Hot Punch are combined on nearly every current Nike performance silhouette, from the Lunar Epic Flyknit running shoe to the Hyperdunk 2016 Flyknit basketball shoe. Nike Lab had their own Olympic releases this week with new colorways of the Air Zoom Spiridon and Air Zoom Teleria hitting shelves on Thursday, August 4th. Featuring patriotic colorways, select sizes are still available with direct links in the description. Although absent from Nike Lab, Dover Street Market released two new colorways of the Air Footscape Woven, a silhouette that hasn't seen a new colorway in several years. Sporting the iconic rainbow weave pattern offered in black and white, these new footscapes released on DSM this Thursday, but no additional release information has been announced. Follow my Nike exclusive Twitter account at Swoosh Supply for release updates. Following the Silhouette's debut last season, the EQT 93 Ultra Boost Hybrid, the Adidas EQT Support 9316, released in two new colorways this week. Minimal white and black colorways released this Thursday, August 4th, with links to purchase in the description. Moving into this week's news, Adidas announced tons of new NMD releases this week, the first of which is four new NMD Runner Mesh colorways on Thursday, August 18th, followed by the debut of the NMD XR1 in two colorways, one of which features Black Boost, on Friday, August 26th, and the Triple Black and Solar Red colorways of the NMD Runner Mesh on Saturday, September 17th. Additionally, several US retailers have listed the Ultra Boost Olympic Medals Pack to release on Wednesday, August 17th, following the Adidas Europe release on August 1st. For updates on these and all upcoming Adidas releases, follow my Adidas exclusive Twitter account at Adidas Alerts. Nike unveiled their fourth collaboration with animation studio Leica to celebrate the upcoming movie Kubo and the Two Strings. Following the Coraline Dunks, the Paranorman Foams, and the Box Troll Roshis, this is the Kubo Jordan 15 designed by Tinker Hatfield. Featuring a modified ankle collar, only 250 pairs of this Jordan 15 will be available to win by playing an online action game on the Kubo movie website. A few images of an upcoming Supreme Nike collaboration leaked this week, showing a Blazer GT Low executed in a tonal suede colorway with debossed Supreme branding at the heel. No release information has been confirmed, but look for Supreme's fall-winter 2016 season to debut later this month. Moving into this weekend's releases, Jordan brand dominates the weekend with the Olympics alternate colorway of the Jordan 7 Retro, the forgotten alternative to the Olympic Jordan 7 that was produced and worn by Jordan during the 1992 Olympics. Releasing alongside the 7 is the Yin and Yang Jordan 1 Retro, offering minimal colorways in white with a black swoosh and black with a white swoosh. All three Jordan Retros release this Saturday, August 6th, with early links in the description. And that will wrap up this installment of news. In the comments below, let me know your thoughts on this week's news and releases, and follow me on Twitter at GTFan712 for up-to-the-minute news and release updates throughout the week. Until next time, this has been GTFan712. Thanks for watching.